Okay, so here's a video that's long overdue. This was a project that I made in about a month or so. I start off with Link's movements, his general movement, his auto jump and his roll. I made this game with Unity and Blender, two programs I could work fast in. I was inspired to make this after I heard the YouTuber Nimsoni said you should try to make the original graphics of the game instead of just revamping it and you know try and put new graphics on old because obviously that doesn't work out well. So obviously we have all, all these remakes and everything, we always try and remake things and we, we say oh we can make it look better, we can do all these graphical effects. Well let's see, try and replicate the original game first. We want to see if we can replicate the graphics as they are and I'll show you that I'm actually doing a little bit more than what you think I'm doing. So at first I just wanted to make you know my own scripts everything like that on a kinematic rigid body you know custom physics like that but I decided you know maybe I'm not too good at this so I just used Unity's physics engine instead. When I completed his movement, I started developing his combat animations. The combat was completed quickly since I didn't have to write much for the programming for the combat. Unfortunately though, I wasn't able to get any enemies in, so if I did, I could add the attack scripts and everything like that and the basics are already there. Next thing I did, which was really cool, was the cutscenes, so here's an example of one. To accomplish this, I had to use Unity and the Timeline package. After I analysed the scenes in the game, I had to replicate the camera movement, you know, just general stuff like that, I replicated them in Unity. The audio from the scene was also used so I could understand the cues of when to change the camera's position and rotation. Lastly, I added the same stuff for Adult Link as I did for Young Link. Um, this was actually kind of easy. That's kind of like a bonus which kind of relieves some stress that I maybe had with the project. So after that I laid back and I was kind of proud of what I managed to do. With as short of a time as one month, you know, you could get a lot of it done. I got a lot of it done. So during the project I had to fix the project's bugs and then add some special effects, some light links, sword trail or the beam of light you see when you place the sword or do any interactions with it. So you know you guys are asking me oh why don't you release this game or oh, why don't you you know put this game out why don't you put it on your itch.io page you which you know you should probably go on because I've got some games on there. Here's the thing though, Nintendo would just destroy this game in an instant. I had to use the original assets from the original game and Nintendo kinda hates that so like even a simple fan game which uses any of their IPs or anything like that. You know, any kind of fan game that someone would make for fun. Nintendo hates that and you know they could send the season desist or something like that. So I'm not releasing this. So this is kinda like frustrating for any like beginning game developers who just want to make, you know, simple games. Just start off, see what they can do with different characters before they make their own and stuff like that. And you know, that's kinda hard for me. But overall, I say this project taught me how to use the timeline and how to keep things small scale and complete those and not go overboard with anything like that. I wanted to highlight the most important aspects of the game and put that in my Unity project. Before I forget though, Cinema Machine is also used, which means I didn't have to use any custom programming for the cameras or anything like that. Cinema Machine could help with everything like that and that was helpful since I had to custom program everything if I didn't use it. So that was quite a help. 
With this project complete and me delaying this video for a very long time, I've also completed another project which I'll show right now. You know, this game also took me a month, for that I just wanted to replicate the, you know, copy mechanic from Super Mario Odyssey. I thought that was kind of cool, I want to build the game around that. But for now, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.